Welcome to our tutorial on using proxies with Python requests for web scraping. In this guide, you'll learn why proxies are crucial for web scraping projects and how you can seamlessly integrate them into your Python scripts. Firstly, let's understand why proxies are essential for web scraping. Websites often impose restrictions based on IP addresses and locations, making it challenging to access desired data. Proxies help bypass these restrictions by masking your original IP address and providing a different location, enabling seamless data extraction. Now let's dive into how you can use a proxy with Python requests. We'll start by setting up our Python environment and installing necessary packages such as request and beautiful soup. Before we proceed, it's crucial to understand the components of a proxy IP address, including the protocol, address, and port. This knowledge will help us effectively configure proxies in our Python scripts. There are several methods to set proxies in Python requests, and we'll explore each one. In our first example, we'll directly set proxies within the request module. We'll walk through the code step by step to understand how to implement this method effectively. To start, you need to import the request and beautiful suit packages in your Python file for web scraping. Then create a directory called proxies that contain proxy server information to hide your IP address when scraping the web page. Here you have to define both the HTTP and HTTPS connections to the proxy URL. You also need to define the Python variable to set the URL of the web page you want to scrape the data from. For this tutorial, the URL is https colon forward slash forward slash brightdata.com. Next, you need to send a get request to the web page using the request.get method. The method takes two arguments, the URL of the website and proxies. Then the response from the web page is stored in the response variable. To collect the links, use the beautiful suit package to parse the HTML content of the web page by passing response.content and html.parser as the arguments to the beautiful soup method. Then use the find underscore all method with a as an argument to find all the links on the web page. Finally, extract the href attribute of each link using the get method. Following is the complete source code to set proxies directly in requests. When you run this block of code, it sends a request to the web page defined using the proxy IP address and then returns the response that contains all the links to the web page. Sometimes you have to use the same proxy for all your requests to different web pages. In this case, it makes sense to set environment variables for your proxy. To make the environment variables for the proxy available whenever you run scripts in the shell, run the following command in your terminal. Here, the HTTP proxy variable sets the proxy server for HTTP requests, and the HTTPS proxy variable sets the proxy server for HTTPS requests. At this point, your Python code has a few lines of code and uses the environment variables whenever you make a request to the web page. Rotating proxies is crucial to avoid detection and bypass anti-scraping measures implemented by websites. We'll learn how to rotate proxies using a custom method and an array of proxy addresses. This technique ensures efficient and uninterrupted web scraping operations. In order to rotate proxies, you need to import a few Python libraries, request, beautiful soup, and random. Then create a list of proxies to use during the rotation process. This list must contain the URLs of the proxy servers in this format, http colon forward slash forward slash proxy server dot com colon port colon. Then create a custom method called get proxy parentheses. This method randomly selects a proxy from the list of proxies using the random.choice method and returns the selected proxy in dictionary format both HTTP and HTTPS keys. You'll use this method whenever you send a new request. Once you've created the get proxy method, you need to create a loop that sends a certain number of get requests using the rotated proxies. In each request, the get parentheses method uses a randomly chosen proxy specified by the get proxy method. Then you need to collect the links from the HTML content of the web page using the beautiful suit package, as explained in the first example. Finally, the Python code catches any exceptions that occur during the request process and prints the error message to the console. Here is the complete source code for this example. Lastly, we'll explore using the Bright Data proxy service with Python. Bright Data offers a reliable and extensive network of proxies tailored for various web scraping needs. We'll demonstrate how to integrate Bright Data's proxies into Python scripts for seamless data collection. Integrating Bright Data's proxies into your Python request is easy. For example, use the data center proxies to send a request to the URL used in the previous examples. If you don't already have an account, sign up for a free Bright Data trial and then add your details to register your account on the platform. Once you're done, follow these steps to create your first proxy. Click View Proxy Product on the welcome page to view the different types of proxies offered by Bright Data. Select Data Center Proxies to create a new proxy and on the subsequent page, add your details and save it. 
Once your proxy is created, you can view the important parameters, i.e. host, port, username, and password to start accessing and using it. Once you've accessed your proxy, you can use the parameters information to configure your proxy URL and send a request using the request Python package. The format of the proxy URL is username dash session ID, password at host port. The following code is a sample of what it would look like to set your proxy from bright data in a Python request. Here you import the packages and define the proxy host, port, username, and password, and session ID variables. Then you create a proxy's dictionary with the HTTP and HTTPS keys and the proxy credentials. Finally, you pass the proxy's parameter to the request.get function to make the HTTP request and collect the links from the URL. And that's it. You've just made a successful request using Bright Data's proxy service. Thank you for watching our tutorial on using proxies with Python requests. We hope you find this guide informative and helpful. Stay tuned for more tutorials and don't forget to subscribe for updates. Happy scraping.